Okay, we got an update. So let's stay on this. And so the footage that this Marvel kid has posted up saying that it's this is not this. That's the malicious fucking dump in July. We're having trouble getting footage. The footage that I had seen, then this. Is... So stay with me. So let's review the facts. And, you know, let's get this right. This is a breaking story. The footage that Fox News had on is all fake. All the footage that's out there is fake. All of it. This fucking one that even I had up there is fake. It's not fake. It's from the malicious dump. The one the Fox News you could show, sh fake. It, the, there really isn't any fucking footage. But so let's review the facts. Okay, here's the facts. So we know there was an explosion, an accident on the secret city, on the base, which people are reporting that this secret city is a missile test facility. Bullshit. That's total lie. Total lie. Not true. We don't know what they do up there. It's a city, but what we do know, Putin made a statement and said that this was a small nuclear reactor. Now, we know what an SMR is. Now, what we do know, I know a lot about that place, you know, as the activists over the years. What we do know is they've been experimenting with fast breeders there for years. What's a fast breeder? Uh, SMR, you know, these little. So that has been verified that that's what this is and that's what was going on there. The, people say this is a, a missile test site, there's some vloggers of vloggers, you're full of shit. You know, this is a fast brighter, and how we know that? Because they say in their statement, the fizzing product that they're, the guy at the funerals told us that, and I know that for a fact, my year as the, my, his, my history as the activist. So, the fast breeder, the SMR, which is the same nightmare that happened at Rocketdyne. That was a partial meltdown. They lied about us, Santa Susana. The same nightmare at Idaho National Lab. They're just re-upping the ante. New scale from hell. So let's review so far what's going on. This is a nightmare. I'm telling you, this is a catastrophic. I mean, remember, it took me two years to convince anybody Fukushima was one meltdown. So, okay, we know, one, there was a massive explosion. There's footage of the ambulances going in. That's real. We know because the head of Rostam spoke at the funeral. And there's a press conference video out there that these were five marquee Russian scientists. Five. At least, there were seven people we know of killed there. Okay? We know for a fact that this was a fast breeder reactor that blew up. At least one. We know that for a fact. Putin has verified that. That's been so it gets reported that now stay with me. It gets reported that gamma shine, gamma fallout had spiked 16 times. That got reported in mainstream media. That was reported by newspapers inside Russia. They'd quoted a guy in the city right there. Okay? It had been quoted, verified that there was a evacuation order. Then they come out and said the evacuation order was scheduled before. There's all kinds of stuff out there on that. Then they said it was canceled. Now, remember, this is exactly how Chernobyl played out. Now, remember, at Chernobyl, you know, the central figure in the movie, well, which isn't in the movie, in reality, you know, who blew his head off two years later in 88. I've named this 88. He blew his head off in 88 on April 26th on the two-year anniversary. Now, remember, you've watched the movie. Without he and her, would we know about Chernobyl? Without those two? No, we wouldn't know about Chernobyl. I mean, without those two, and Igor took the picture. Without Igor, these two central figures that stood up, would we know? No. We wouldn't know. To this day, we wouldn't know. They wouldn't have been in an exclusion zone. 
If it had been Santa Susanna, you know, it would have been Fukushima covered up. So we don't have those two people, do we? Well, we're going to find out over time. You got me. So let's start from the beginning. We know there was an accident there. We know that there were tracy elements, that's my work, and different activists that can only be picked up from a nuclear core. We know that. And Putin admitted, that's why Putin admitted that. He knew that this tracer stuff's going to get picked up. And he knew people like me are going to say, wait a minute, this isn't a nuclear weapons test. This isn't a nuclear bomb. This is a nuclear core. That's why he made the statement. We know at the funeral, the head of Rostam got up and spoke and talked about how paramount these five scientists are. Now, I've talked to people over there. I says, are these guys really the up? And they said, yes, these guys are. So why are they there? We know that he was up in the ante on fast breeders on these SMRs. We know he and Trump are in bed together. Why do you think Trump's up the ante at Idaho National Lab? New scale, which is corrupt as hell. New scale got their funny Kenwood Financial. It's all corrupt. They're the exact same thing. The arms race 2.0 is on. And that's it. That's what blew up. It's going to happen here. Now, how big and how bad it is, we don't know, but it's bad. I can tell you right now, it's bad. And how do I know it's bad? Number one, the five scientists were there and killed. Number two, I know what a fast breeder is. I know what these SMRs are. And I know how far this technology has advanced. Now listen to me. These SMRs have been billed for years as taking this energy, it's weapons grade, and can condense it, condense it, condense it, condense it. It can actually turn the power of several nuclear reactors into one little teeny reactor that can be moved around, thus the floating reactor. Has it advanced that far? Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind they have it that far. But the problem is it is not safe. This has proved it. This is an SMR fast breeder, and we know that for a fact. And I'll post the link so you can go to Wikipedia and see what it is, the elements, which Putin spoke of the element. They've all spoke of it. So it blew up. We know for a fact that the SMR, as advanced as it is, is probably thousands of times more powerful than a traditional you know, water boiler, GE, Westinghouse, water boiler. We know that. So my hypothesis is that this is probably the second worst nuclear disaster in history. My hypothesis is much worse than Chernobyl. Now the wind blowing over Russia. We've had westerly winds, that's been verified, over Russia. There's rumors that different alerts came out over Alaska, whatnot. So this is a major, major nuclear disaster. Now, the IAA ranks nuclear disasters as one to seven. Now, you think about it, you go one to seven. I'll be in Vienna next month. Who sets a scale from one to seven? Now, how many sevens have we had, according to the IAEA? Two. Chernobyl, Fukushima. This is going to be a seven. I'm here to tell you this is going to be the third seven. Now, the video of this kid, I just talked to him. I emailed him. I said, you need to take that fucking video down. You know, a guy told me, he says, look, and I matched him up. That's the which was nasty, by the way. That explosion in July spent nuclear. God only knows what was in that. But that wasn't this. This is an SMR, new scale from hell, funded in here in Utah, developed here at Utah on this campus. I know what they are. I know how fucking powerful they are, and I know how dangerous. The little piglet, I've said this for years, you take this fucking energy and you condense it into a small fucking reactor, you're creating a fucking nightmare. You're correct. I mean, this that went off, well, it killed those scientists, but the early reports that came out 16 times, gamma rays, that's enough. And by the way, okay, if that's true, and we're working on that. We're working on that. My army, why is this thrown on my lap, the post service Army? I don't work for the government. I'm not paid for anybody. I'm not Greenpeace. I'm not Sarah Club. I'm not none of that. Fuck, it's outrageous I do all this fucking work. If that's the case, you think it's going away? So, yeah, we can go have some Chernobyl sockeye and stay in the hostel. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, it just goes away. No, it doesn't go away. Let's go to Moab. <laughs> Turn over to our test. Fuck it. It doesn't go away. I'm in the bone marrow transplant center at LDS Hospital fighting for my life. I'm head of the support group. I was. You go there in any given day, any given day, and there's well over half the populace in there dying are from southern Utah. They're not about to tell you that, the red dust. The half-life of this shit is hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years, and it kills you. It gives you cancer. Any given day, Southern Utah makes up less than 5% of the Utah population. You heard me right, less than 5%. There's 3 million people here. There's nobody lives down there. More up saying, I mean, drive down there. Yet the hospital's half full. So that's where we're at on this. This is the third seven. My hypothesis. Now, we know this is a fast breeder. We know for a fact because the scientists have come out and said that. So this bullshit that's on the internet right here, this is a missile test facility, is a fucking total lie. It's a total lie. It's a nuclear fast breeder operation, the exact same one we got going at INL right here. So Trump and Putin's 2020 campaign, they're running for president. Putin, Trump, 2020, president of the earth. Tsar Putin, king wannabe Trump. And, you know, Emperor Abi and, you know, Emperor Z. A little nuki never hurt anyone as they walk over the dead bodies. So I'll stay on this. Stay tuned.